Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nady, and today I'm going to be floating in a tank of salt water. As you beautiful people know, any tiff you may have, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay, okay. Oh, my little salt water taffies, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're out in the world, you're having a great day. I am cold as tits. I'm at my parents' right now. I'm not in Florida. I'm in the middle of the fucking Keebler Elf Woods, and I couldn't be happier. Well, I do miss the palm trees, but anyways, never did I ever think I'd be sitting in my car recording a video like fucking Trisha Paytas, but I thought we could do like a chit chat vlog and I can give you an update and then we'll go sit in our tank. I don't know if you've ever heard of what I'm doing. It's called a float tank. And if you don't like small spaces, this is definitely not for you. But if you're a salty bitch like me, then this is great. But yeah, I am definitely going through changes. I traveled the world for a month just hoping to find myself and all I got was a cold. Well, no, it was freaking fantabulous. I did have a lot of life experiences and I really took time to find myself and I didn't quite find all of me, but I did find part of me. Is that a Britney Spears song? Anyways, the old backdrop that we saw doesn't really exist because I'm kind of a little bit homeless. Well, I'm in between homes and without a home, which yeah, I guess that's fucking homeless. She has been through a lot of shit in 2023 that honestly was probably the worst year of my life. It started off with a bang by me getting Miss COVID. And then once I finally got better after like three fucking months, I got so sick again. And then my dog died while I was sick, which just made me spiral. My body started shutting down. I was in the hospital. I was actually dying because I wasn't able to film and put out content. I lost a huge fucking life-changing contract. I lost a relationship that I'd been in for 10 years. And because I was so sick, all of my life savings just went to the shitter. And to top that off, because of the stress, I started losing my hair. My hairline sucks. But sometimes it's just not the easiest to come on camera with the people... Oh, okay. What? It's just not the easiest to come on here and just act bubbly and tell everybody things are juicy and great and everything is just a grapefruit smoothie. When up here I'm dying and here I'm dying. And I don't want it to be like that anymore. I want to be able to break down that persona of Nady and actually show you who I am. And it's going to take a little while because that is totally a stage presence. And I want you to be able to see me. And I actually don't even know who that is. How fucking sad is that? Like I've just kind of morphed into Pop Lux and I never took the time to get to know who I really am. And since I'm doing that, I want to bring you along with me. I've always wanted to take dance classes and fuck, I'm going to show you that shit show. I want to try bettering myself and I want to try the craziest shit in the world. Are we going to eat a tarantula? Probably. One of the things I've wanted to try is this float tank thing. They have them everywhere. Like if you're interested, go fucking try it. And yes, you are going to see me naked. There will be a lot of blurring. But I guess you just sit in this water that's like so concentrated with salt that you just float on the top of it. Every part of your body is able to totally relax which is something I do not know how to do. I'm so tense that like my eyes twitch and my face spasms. And damn it, we're in a new year. I'm not gonna be like that anymore. I have no reason to be like that. Instead, I'm gonna sit in my car, drink a protein shake in the middle of fucking nowhere, talk to strangers and friends and just have a happy gay old time. But no, this year is all about being a better me and doing what I love versus what I feel like I have to do, which doesn't even get me anywhere. Like if I don't wanna fucking play with makeup, I'm not going to and I'm not gonna force myself to do it. If I wanna get on here and tell a story that gets two views, what the fuck ever. At least I'm doing what I love. I mean, I do have to make money at some point, but still. So yeah, I don't know where this will take me, but I am almost late for my appointment. Actually, no, I'm good. We have 10 more minutes. I just don't know about you, but I'm sick of being sick. And it is crazy how we make ourselves sick when we don't need to be sick. How many fucking times can I say sick? And I see people that I really look up to out there living their best lives, and it makes me wonder if they really are living their best life or if it's just a facade like what I've presented. And in addition to telling everyone do what the fuck you want to do, I want to actually do that. And with that, honestly, a big part of that is relaunching my makeup line. I've invested so much money and it's to the point where right now, I can't afford to invest in the other half. Like, it's just sitting there. All of my makeup is halfway ready to go. And something in me is like, the makeup world is not that great right now and people are still getting over Miss Rona. People can't really afford a $50 palette right now. Even though I know they can, like, people are buying makeup left and right, but it just doesn't feel right quite yet. But I know this year, it is my goal to make something happen with my company. I need that. I want that. It's just missing so much in my life. And I don't know if I'll be the kind of brand that launches things like every three months. I know that's typical, but I also put my heart and fucking soul into this. And even if I launch stuff like one time a year, that's fine with me. As long as I do it with love and passion like I have, that's fine. And you know, whatever the fuck happens to my company, whether we survive, whether we don't, which we will survive, at least I did it. And at least I tried 
rather than just putting it on the shelf. I have so many other endeavors that I want to do business-wise, content-wise, life-wise. Why the fuck not do it? Even if I end up in the fucking poorhouse, which am I allowed to say that? I said it. Even if it puts me where I don't want to be, the fact that I tried is kind of what matters to me, which is such like a millennial Gen Z thing to think. But I am good at planning, and there's something about my energy where whenever I'm in distress, good things happen to me. And I've continued that energy. I did kind of lose it last year, and shit happened. But when I went on my little month-long trip, something awoke in me where I was like, I need to fucking put out into the world exactly what I want, and you know what, bitch? It's happening. Not to go off on like a whole fucking kumbaya, but bitch, put whatever the hell you want out into the universe and have absolutely no doubt about it. I think that's where a lot of people's energy gets fucked up because they'll say, oh, I want this, but there's that slight hesitation where they don't think they'll get it, and that's where the hell you will fuck shit up. Like, for example, a few years ago before I moved to Florida, it was so easy for me to make money. That's not even true. I worked really, really hard. But my mantra was money comes and money flows, and it did. And when I moved to Florida, the rent was a lot higher. I got really nervous, and I was like, fuck, money is a bitch. It doesn't flow. It's way too easy to spend. Oh my gosh. Hi, we got a package. Ooh, is it a dick in a box? Also, they should pay me for this shit. You are not sponsoring me. Ooh, I bet you it's my parents' new phone. Yay! Total random shit, but my parents, just like me, grew up very, very, very poor. Oh, hello. Mm. Anyways, we were very poor up until kind of recently when we both created our own success. I created my makeup line, which blew the fuck up, fortunately. And my YouTube has kind of been somewhat successful with Facebook. Look at that swag he's got going on. You can't even see him, but he is packing. Anyways, my parents are in their 60s, and like within the last few years, they both started this amazing business so that my stepdad was able to retire from his job and now help my mom with the business, and it is so fucking phenomenal. It's like we just have that in our blood where we start from nothing and try our hardest to become something, and I think it's because we put that out into the world. But as life happens, we grow and we kind of lose control of certain aspects of our businesses, and so I'm here to kind of save the day with that, and I'm realizing I'm really fucking good at it, and I think I'm kind of meant to be here to remind myself that I have a business, and I can control that business, and I could make it go global once again, which just ties along, put out into the world what you want to happen. So, my apologies, my ADD is just on high alert today. Also, this is giving serious old Mask Monday vibes. Do y'all remember those? Instead of Mask Monday, it's car cries. Anyways, I need to start the car because it is colder than a witch's tit in here, and my appointment's in a half an hour, and it takes 20 minutes to get there. I kind of gave up driving for the last two years, and so me driving is just spectacular. It is such a growing point. But fuck, people in Orlando do not know how to fucking drive. If you live there, you know what I'm talking about. It's like everyone I'm in the car- sure I understand. What? It's like everyone in the car is a murderer, and they're just out to get you. Like, what did I do to you? But driving in Michigan is a little bit better. So, I am going to head to the float tank. I'm probably going to end up doing a voiceover, because I don't know if you're even allowed to film in there, but I'm going to. And yeah, we can come back after, and I'll tell you all about it. All right, bye. Pray for me driving. Wee! So, I'm in the room. It is so warm. It feels like being back home. And here is what I'm going to spend the next hour in. Look how dark that is. This actually closes. They do give you a light in case you want it. I, oh, I'm not frightened. I'm excited. But I don't know what demons may be lying in there when I close the door. Anyways, you have to take a shower beforehand and wash your hair and everything and all that goodness because this water does get filtered, but I mean, humans are in there like constantly. So they give you little earplugs. You have to clean your ears and they give you little towels and everything. So, oh, Let's get ready. It's not getting warm. Let's shower it.
Well, that was interesting. Oh, my gosh. I'm just... Still a little bit crispy. Okay, so when I first got in, I didn't know what it was going to look like. I kind of pictured that egg that Gaga came in for, what, the Grammys or some shit? And it wasn't like that. It was just like a big pool with water in it. But what was extra interesting was how fucking buoyant I was. Like, even when I tried to put my arms or limbs down, I couldn't. And I didn't mind that. It was like being on the most perfect mattress ever. And the range of emotions and things that I felt while in there was just crazy crazy. At first, I had the door open and the light on, and I was like, this is fine, but I don't know how I'll ever be able to do this for 60 whole minutes, because I couldn't even go one minute with just relaxing. And I kind of recognized that, damn, this bitch really needs to start doing that, just like turning myself off and letting my brain process shit. Maybe that's why I'm exhausted, because I'm always going. And so after the 20-minute mark, I was actually able to calm down, and I started to slowly fall asleep and relax. I was like, yes, I love this. However, I started to ache. Like, with all the shit that I had going on over the last year, my shoulders have started to, like, come forward. And because the bitch was so buoyant, my shoulders were like this. I was like a hot dog in a bun. Hi, old man riding a bike. You get it. Oh, your legs are very swollen. I'm so sorry. Anyways, I blame it on the pillow that they gave me, so I just started to adjust it and make it so that it worked. And then I was like, this is so nice, and it actually got to the point where I was so relaxed that my muscles started to loosen, and I was feeling shit crack. Like, motherfucker, it was great. But then when I was fucking showering, I saw a different pillow that probably would have been perfect for me. Piss me the fuck off. And I know she told me about it, too, when she was setting me up, but I just did not listen. I was too excited to get in the water and be naked. But I also have ear issues where I can't really get water in them. And you don't want this water in your ears because it'll like crystallize. And I would have loved to do it without the pillow. However, the little things that they gave me weren't really plugging up my ears. So I think I'd do it again, but maybe get different plugs. And I was fighting sleep and I actually wish that I had done like a two hour session because I could have gotten a good ass nap in. But honey, there is salt on everything and it's like thick caked on salt. It's on my tripod. It's on my phone. And I remember my ex-mother-in-law, we had gotten her one of these package things and she liked it, but she didn't shower off, which I don't know how she did that because I was crispy and crunchy like a saltine cracker. And because she was going throughout her day basically wearing a pound of salt like a fucking brine, she absorbed it and she ended up having to go to the hospital because she had too much salt in her. And I'm like, how the fuck did you not shower afterwards? I don't get it. But this was actually really fucking cool. When I was in it, I was like, I don't know if I ever have to do this again, but the ladies at the front desk were very sweet. They were like, if you liked it, it's only gonna get better from this. And if you didn't like it, it's still only gonna get better. So I guess I would try it again. So, would I recommend this? Even if you're a little bit claustrophobic, I think it would still be okay because the door is open and it's just like being in a casket, I guess? But especially if you're super fucking tense and you get one of those little round pillows where your head isn't like this, then yeah. It was so relaxing and my body just feels like Gumby. So loosey-goosey. I don't really know who this wouldn't be for because even if part of you is immobile, you're just gonna float there and you're so relaxed and just suspended like in outer space. And especially if you're super super fucking tense like me, it gives your body a chance to relax and heal. I liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it. Probably enough to do it a second time, which is good because I do have a free second time, so otherwise I don't know if I'd pay for it. But if you can find a Groupon or something, definitely check it out. Also, this was kind of an extra fun, juicy experience for me because I have always wanted to travel the world and just do really interesting things. Ooh, rape van, hi. Just travel the world and do crazy wild things. This wasn't crazy or wild, but the moment I walked in, I kind of turned on my personality, which I am trying to be more me and less personality, but I kind of was a good mixture of me and Pop Lux, and I was so fucking funny, and I just had the ladies behind the desk laughing, and I was like, why is this not being filmed for my own show? And it was kind of just a reminder to myself that I could fucking do that, and I would be good at it, and I would love it. Like, what the hell am I doing? Why aren't I doing that? So anyways, darlings, this is just yet again another reminder to do what the fuck you are good at, and do what you love. I need to go home and just drink my body weight and water, and I feel so loose I could fall from a five-story building and be fine. Anyways, darlings, thank you so much for being here. I love having you. Please let me know if you want more content like this, even if I'm not out doing something and you just want me to vlog my day. Honestly, that is boring as shit, but I could talk about anything, so we could make it happen. But yeah, thank you for all the love and all the constant support. If you want a little bit more me in your life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplex. You get videos a day early. You get patreon-only content. You get a patreon-only store. And best part, it's cheap, fun, and fancy, just like me. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official Nady. And you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.